All right, coach. Well, another win, second straight uh, this week after the Harvard loss. You know, what did it take out of this team to bounce back and get two wins after that game? Um, again, I think we talked about it before. I think that the loss to Harvard is, is Harvard's a good team. So, you know, I mean, I, I don't think that really took anything out of us. I think, um, I think more. I mean, we, we just we just did something pretty awesome. I mean, we played five games in eleven days, three of them on the road. Um, we went four and one. The one loss was to um, a very, very good Harvard team. So I think, you know, this has been a pretty awesome 11 days for our program. And like, another good quick start today. The last two games you scored, you know, both goals in the first 11 minutes. This one, obviously, a little bit earlier. Uh, how does that change, you know, the game plan if you can take a lead two minutes in? Well, I don't think it takes it changes the game plan. I think you stick pretty much to what you're going to try to do uh, most of the time. But um, it takes a little bit of the pressure off. I think just two nothing is a tough lead. So we took that into halftime, and then um, Army Army gave us everything we could handle in the second half. I think um, you know all credit to them in the second half. They put us under a lot of pressure. Um, they scored on a free kick. Not happy about that, but um, you know I think we could have done better defending that. But all in all, very positive day for a program. And in more of a general picture. Obviously, this win ties last year's win total. How much of a different vibes around this team than there was last year? Um, the win total part, I'm not concerned about. The vibe part, I'm very concerned about. I think, um, you know, I just told these guys, you know, I mean, they're, they're, they're a good group of players, but they're also a great group of people. And, um, you know, that's what it takes to be successful. Um, and you want to be successful for each other. So, um, you know, it's a nice start to a season, but, um, you know, this one's behind us now. Now we start looking looking for and um, preparing for Wagner on Friday night. All right, guys, starting off, uh, coach doesn't like to talk about last year's win total too much, but this win ties last year's win total. So from the player's perspective, how big is that for two seniors to know you already, you know, matched last year? <laughs> um, to be honest, I don't really think about last season because that was just a giant fluke, but I didn't know that. And now that you say that, it's just like, wow. <laughs> so that's... It's really exciting going forward, just proves where we are. Yeah, it reassures where we are. And um, I mean, last year's game against Army was a completely different game. I think we took control, and I think that shows how far we've come. And Sam, goal and assist today, um, moved into top 25 all time in points. I know players don't like to talk about stats a lot, so that's my job. But, you know, you said earlier in the year you wanted to, you know, have a good senior season, hopefully lead the team or come close to leading the team in goals. Where are you at right now mentally? Um, at this point, it's just, I mean, you see it game to game. We have so many different people that score each game, and it's just how well we work together. So at this point, it takes a lot of pressure off me. For the and Riley, obviously, last time out, first loss of the year, what was it? in your head mentally coming into this one to bounce back for you? Just play. I mean, just because you lost doesn't mean you didn't play well. Um, I just come into a new game. Um, new game, everything was behind you, and just don't let what happened to you last time happen to you again.